Hey lovely sexy hobby people, welcome to today's video, uh, which is going to be a look at the second uh, special character for the Forces of Chaos, or Forces of Destruction I should say, for the Stormbringer collection. This one being a Warlock Bombardier. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Let's have a look. The Endless Skaven, Skaven Horde. So we've got some nice army pictures here of the Skavens, Skaven armies. So Warlock Bombardier. Warlock Bombardiers are ingenious Skaven engineers obsessed with delivering death at extreme range. With low cunning, and Warpstone Augmented Technology, a Warlock Bombardier is able to develop deadly weaponry for the Skaven clans. No danger is too great for their endless quest for destruction. So we've got Cunning Invention roll chart here. D6 rolling chart. And then we've got Verminous Quirk D6 rolling chart. And then obviously your, you can name them. Here's the build. how to paint. So this will probably be a much more in-depth painting tutorial than what we've had so far and it will be painting tutorial to completion. Lithonian camo shade, non oil, Barakanar burgundy, yeah. Basing your model. What are they using? A Grellan Earth. Ooh. And then here's your War Scroll. There's not a lot in this particular mag for this mini. So it's five wounds, six move, six inch move, five up save, and five bravery. Missile weapons is a Doom Rocket. So that's that funky thing he's holding, I assume. Um. And that has an 18 inch range, it's D3 attacks, so you have to roll for the number of attacks. So you could get three, you could just get one. Uh, it's plus four to hit, it's plus three to wound, it's minus one rend and it's three damage. And then you have the firing pole as a melee weapon, which is one inch range, it's one attack, plus four to hit, plus four to wound, there's no rend and it's one damage. One more Doom Rocket. A Doom Rocket's warhead can be overloaded if the wielder dares. Before you determine the number of attacks made with a Doom Rocket, you can say that the engineer has overloaded its warhead. If you do so until the end of that phase, the attack's characteristics of that weapon is D6 instead of D3. However, for each unmodified hit roll of one, this unit suffers D3 mortal wounds after all of its attacks has been resolved. So there you go, you have a chance of killing yourself, <laughs> but, also in, but also a chance of inflicting more damage on your enemies. So we get a little bit on photography here, and they do include a little thing here, which they say fold in half. This is obviously a bit battered from being in the post. You can, don't know if you can make out all the dimples on it, which is a bit disappointing. There you go, right. Let's have a look at the plastic. Come down, come down. And we have a sculpt of 2019. So not many pieces on this. Uh, this guy's got a some sort of backpack contraption, which is powering his rocket launcher, I suppose. This is quite a cool little rocket launcher. Really does remind me of the orc e like the 40k orc rocket boys rocket contraptions that they um yeah rocket contraptions that the orky boys tend to go for um the backpack looks really good there's plenty of detail on this i mean you've got quite a few little gauges that obviously if you want to detail paint those they'll look really cool and there's a bit of steam wisping out the top of the 
uh, exhaust stack on that. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, looks good. I, I've not built Skaven before, so this will be interesting. Um, I may, I may make the backpack set, keep the backpack separate um, <clears throat> for ease of painting. Um, I think that may be a way to go on that. But yeah, come back in a sec and we'll build him. Ooh, let's build a rat, shall we? So we're going to start off with the two body parts that are going together like so. He's so got an armoured torso, actually. He's got some plate armour on his torso. So that's cool. Let's get the glue out. Um, I'm using Tamiya Extra Thin. Um, which is fine and all. You know, it's... Uh, I miss my um, plastic world. <laughs> Much prefer that stuff. Right. So there we go. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to then glue him to the base. Uh, simply because he's going to be easier to manage. steampunk contraption uh, is going on and it's going to connect into a piece of um, cable work which is just on the edge of the robes that this guy's wearing So, uh, then there's another piece of cable. Um, oh, actually, oh, this, this will be what? Right, okay, so I jumped ahead, gluing him to the base because we've got this tail which goes underneath. Uh, but that's not a major drama because we can just gently. Pulling forward. I see where that goes, which is there. And then this. Glues in. Now it is shaped, so it will only go in one way. And when that goes in, the little dial, the little wheel that the tail is wrapped around by the backpack will slot into position. So, so push back down. There you go. Easily rectified, no drama. Right, said Fred. Now, we have his rocket contraption. Um, now, there's a tab on his, uh, there's a slot there just above his knee and there's a slot there's a tab on the 
arm and then it looks like that should push into place. Like that, and then he's got a handle that lines up with his other hand, like so. Oh, come on. Now we have a little bit of cable here, which is going to connect. And I think you may, I'm going to put the head on first, just to give the rocket contraction time to go off. So the head has a tab on it, so it should only go in one way. Like so, is it me or does he look like he should really be holding a guitar? And then you have this little uh, end of a sewer pipe, which goes on the robes. Just there like that, where the little rats are running out of. So... Like that, right, right, fiddly bit now. Um, so you've got a dimple here and you've got a little, just a slight little nubbin hanging out there, dimple on that end and a nubble on that end. So it goes in, marries up that way. Um, So dab, dab, and then this is probably going to ping off using these tweezers. So glue that up underneath there. And then it glues into that little piece just there. Now that should hold. And there you go, that's it. Nice and nice and easy, nice and simple. There you go. There's your rat. It's the faulty. It's not a rat, it's Siberian hamster. Okay, so there you go. It's pretty cool, actually. I hope you join me in the next video. All right, take care. Bye-bye.